Hello everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli and today I want to talk to you about reliability of cars and obviously I'm going to get to electric cars uh, so the question is what is a reliable car for you for each person it may be uh, something different but uh, to me a reliable car is a car when you <laughs> get in it in the morning and you press the button it starts whether it's 16 degrees like it was this morning in Jersey or it is I don't know 100 degrees in the summer uh, so that's to me what the first category of what a reliable car is the second thing uh, to me a uh, reliable car is um, that it doesn't break when you when you drive or that doesn't like something happen and you drive and you let's say uh, all of a sudden um, I'm not talking about flat tires obviously that can happen in any car I'm talking about like let's say you drive and all of a sudden your battery is dead and you can and you can uh, continue I remember it happened to me in my one of my explorers I went to pick up somebody at the airport I I know I put the car in, in drive I, I went there and then and then I, I stopped on the side for the pickup line then the car went kaput dead I had to bring a tow, towing uh, uh, truck and, and all that. So to me, the two main important things, main, main important things is start at any time. It, it always, always starts when you need it and it doesn't break in the middle. Now, let's go further and talk about who, ha who is most, more likely to, to have car problems. So I have the leave for a, month, a year and a half and I have the... Uh, a volt for you now 13 months 14 months and I can tell you rain or shine cold or hot every time I press the button the car started never ever uh, gave me any trouble now of course there are new cars so new cars are uh, prone to be better and all that I, I give you that uh, however thinking down the road thinking down the road um, how did I get stuck uh, with cars in the past gasoline cars and I'm talking about I never own a car more than three to five years I always replace it so with my old cars and again they were not old they were three maybe four years here we go um, dead battery 12 volt battery dead uh, wouldn't start in, in the um, in the very very cold uh, I went on vacation and I came back after 12 days or 10 days one start absolutely dead that happens to me so many times um, a radiator one time just exploded and these are all relatively new cars relatively you know not too much use like so 30 40 50,000 miles on them that happens to me so many times now let's see can this happen in an electric car the 12 volt battery can die, so that, I don't know about that. We'll see if it happens. Um, but uh, there's no radiator to to explode. There is no alternator. There is no. Um, uh, well, I can say that in all weathers. I mean, I drove the lift this morning. It was so freaking cold. 16, 16 degrees. You push the button and it warms up now let me just stay on this one it warms up so fast gasoline car it takes forever to warm up the the electric cars warm especially the one who has heat pumps like the like the leaf literally warm in 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 a, in a minute literally a minute so um what what i think the biggest advantage of electric car cars that they are absolutely amazingly reliable very very reliable you can know you would know that it will be there for you that they will um, that they will uh, start and no matter what and you know if it's too cold you have to let it warm up a little warm up the battery and whatever but they will not strain you so far they have not strained me so if you have an electric car and you had car problems or if you got uh, you know somebody and you and, and it won't start or whatever please share with me because i want to know i want to know how reliable they are now i know that the teslas are not reliable it's a new company and there are a lot of issues with the uh, fit and finish and reliability uh 
uh, switches and battery packs but of course they're getting so much better but at the beginning so they get a pass for that but um, other than that uh, I cannot imagine that electric cars are less reliable than um, than gas cars in the in the important categories that I mentioned so if you have an electric car know of somebody um, please share and we can have a nice discussion about this issue of reliability of electric cars so but I have a great weekend and please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook uh, the address is at the bottom and um, help me change the world one electric car at a time thank you